Get him, dead bird. Dead. Fetch him here. Fetch him here. Bring him here. Come on, here. Small bird. That's all right. Good boy, look at that. Look at that, bud. Hey, you get that bird? That was a, that was a good point, bud. Nice find. He was pretty close, but I didn't really beat him up at all, honestly. He's, he's in good shape. Good dog. Something got his tail feathers. They are gone. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel for our sixth annual pheasant hunting public land. Here we are in the middle of November, kind of a warm day, but it's a beautiful day to be out chasing roosters. corner between a bean field and a corn field was real hot and sort of went on point. We were working sent this whole fence line. Whoa. Wake up, buddy. Get him. The birds were really on the move. By the time I made my way across this fence, scent got cold. We made our way all the way across this field to this irrigation ditch where Sir would work the edge. Sorry.
that field just on the other side was where we just were on that other fence line and I think those birds just made their way all the way across the field onto this edge. It's the only cover they had. They may have come in here. That bird over here. I shot that bird one handed. Here, here. Dead bird. Sorry, dead bird. I was holding my big camera with one hand when that bird got up. I don't think one handed was quite the case, but it was sloppy. We gotta find him. The swamp grass is so thick, and that bird dropped right in the edge. We looked for 20 minutes, just could not find that bird. That doesn't happen too often. back to the truck and load up and I turn around to this. You're kidding me. Just my luck. Dog on point in the ditch. Or I can't shoot. Whoa. you know the bird right in the ditch right where I can't shoot <laughs> of course good job bud good boy This is another day on a property we've never hunted before, so first time here, just kind of exploring. That one I hit soft and two other birds flew up and landed. Now we're trying to find this runner. He's out here somewhere. Fucker ran. Whoa. Get him, bud. All right. Headshot on him. So, there's a few birds running around in this field right now. Easy, easy, easy. That's a good bird. We were kind of chasing him through. I knocked that other one down. This might be him. He could still fly, but we got to look for that other one. It's a nice bird, this year's bird, but 
first time I've hunted this property. Hey bud. Hey. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Unload the gun. It's real soft right there, so I gotta watch it. Barely enough to do it. All right. Good boy. Sawyer's back in this brush pile and I hear him momentarily a couple birds come out. Okay. We right out that way. Good boy. Here we are on another first time property. Northwest Wisconsin. This is one of those places that I hit on the way back from grouse hunting. Boy. He seems interested in this fence line. Second barrel didn't fire again. <laughs> that second barrel didn't fire again. Damn it. I don't know if I would have hit him, but I'm surprised I missed him on that first shot. Ah. Good boy. I've had a few cases of this gun this season not firing. That is frustrating. It fires, but you get a light striker hit. It doesn't go off. There's a rooster in here too. Here we are in a different weekend and a more familiar cover. We're gonna hit this field before I meet up with a couple of guys. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. We've been following this bird for about a hundred yards at this point.
Okay. He's right in front of us. Shit, that hurts. We had him on the run here. He got up kind of behind me. Damn it. Good boy. Sawyer, here. Tough shot on that. Good dog. Got up behind and Sawyer. Found him here and of course he flew that way instead of my way. <laughs> and now he's uh he's across the street off property, so damn. Oh. Birds are running right down this trail and Sawyer ended up bumping one just up here. There's a bird cackling right up here by this between these two trees in front of me. Edge of the field. Dead bird. Nice job. Good boy, buddy. You got him? Good boy. Hey, bud. Good job, buddy. Hey, bud. Good find. Sawyer, good boy. Good boy. Good job, bud. We tracked that one for a long time. Hey, hey, he was running all over the side of that cornfield and uh, just up and down. There's scent everywhere, unless there's another bird in here, but he kind of gave himself away with a cackle. We were back, I don't know, 100 yards or more. And, um, he just made the wrong sound at the wrong time, I think. That was a pretty long shot. I couldn't get my my safety off in time. Kind of stumbled with that for a minute, shooting a different gun again like an idiot, but anyway, nickel or copper plated fives were able to take them down pretty easy, so giddy up. Mike and Brad, and now we got three dogs. Stuck. Ah, oh, shit. That's cold. 
Yeah, maybe we can cross it. What? Doesn't look too bad. He's a real birdie here. Pretty thick cover in this spot. Still beats cattails. Good job. Mike hit this bird kind of soft and it went over a creek and uh, his dog's over there trying to find it. Did it go running on you? Yeah? Right now. Oh shit. That's it up. Oh man. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't know it was here. across the creek? Yeah. Before you can go even go to work? I don't know if he'll do that for me. Ah! Dango. Yeah, he has no idea, you know, oh, that right. there's a... Dango. Did Dag uh, see him go down? No. Oh, he never did. I was right <laughs> off the nose of it. <laughs> Good thing you got that auto loader. I know. <laughs> hey, bud. Oh, Dango. Over here, Baba. Go fetch. Go fetch. Go fetch. Get him to the left more. All right, New Year's Day hunt. Probably the last day I'll be out for pheasant this season. Maybe next weekend, I don't know. Probably make a run up north again if the weather holds, but this time of year is pretty tough. Birds are pretty much cleaned out around here, but you can find a few late season guys here and that's what we're gonna do. on something. I don't know what's going on here. Get him, bud. A wounded bird here. Good boy, you got him? Fetch him. <laughs> well, get him, bud. You got him? 
Good dog. Good boy. Hey, 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 hey. Good boy. Good dog. Well, I didn't even have to fire the gun. <laughs> this one was uh, wounded here running around. I knew you were on something. Good job, bud. Hey, 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 easy. Good boy. He's wounded. It's funny, he couldn't fly, he could just hop, so. Sorry was really working this over here. But I didn't get any points, so this thing must have been just running through here like crazy. Good job, buddy. It's colder out here than it is in the woods. Here we are in the last day of the season where we started our pheasant season, the final walk. Got a nice kind of northwest breeze blowing right at us. Pretty property here. We hunted it in October. And here we are back in January 7th. But a little bit different spot. Some guys are in the spot that I wanted to go. But it's all the same. What do you smell, beaver? <laughs> I probably do. Nope, nope. Up here. Oh yeah. Thanks to the beavers. This is where we want to be. Wolf. What do you got, bud? Man, it got real hot there. Some feathers back there. Oh. Okay, there's a bird here somewhere. That one gave us the slip. Hey, hey, come on, hey. Stay here, here. On the damn land, you dummy. Thank you beavers. Well, this wouldn't be nearly as big, but they did a good job. And get right across it. Well, we didn't spend a lot of time pheasant hunting this year because we spent so much time in the grouse woods, but it was a good time while we're out. We always have fun chasing roosters. Thanks for following us along in this episode, and we got more videos in the pipeline. See you next time.